Jesus began, says Matthew, to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As the Apostle Paul says, On behalf of Christ, therefore, we are acting as ambassadors. God, as it were, is appealing through us. We exhort you, for the sake of Christ, to be reconciled to God. What could be clearer? In Christ's name, the Apostle begs us to be willing to be reconciled to God and to have him pleased rather than angry with us. Who can have doubts about God's mercy if he seriously returns to him? He will certainly welcome those who return as the loving Father welcomed his prodigal son. When we have returned, and have received His forgiveness, what does He ask of us so that we continue to be His friends and sons, except that we keep His commandments? The Apostle John exclaims that His commands are not burdensome, but if they seem burdensome to you, think how much more so will the torments of hell. Unless you are mad, you will not dare want to experience them. Think this over and over, and never forget it. Now is a time for mercy, later for justice. Now one is free to sin, but later one must pay the heaviest penalties. Now a man can easily square accounts with God. By a small effort of repentance, obtain great forgiveness, and by a brief mourning, avoid eternal wailing. On the other hand, any good work done now out of charity can obtain the kingdom of heaven. Later, the riches of the whole earth will not gain a single drop of cold water.